Greetings dear viewers, welcome to SNG Garage. Today we have Chevy Cobalt that USA never got. Let's go! When GM Uzbekistan announced that Cobalt will be sold in Uzbekistan, I thought it's going to be two-door, two-liter, turbocharged sports car from Need for Speed Most Wanted. But then came strange South American sedan that was oriented for the family. And it was very strange. So strange. Страшно, очень страшно. Мы не знаем, что это такое. Если бы мы знали, что это такое, мы не знаем, что это такое. With time, people of Uzbekistan got used to it and actually like it. Cobalt was based on platform Gamma 2. Also on that platform was based Chevrolet Onyx, Chevrolet Spin, Chevrolet Tracker and Chevrolet Spark and many other hatchbacks and crossovers. In 2016 South America got new Cobalt with great leather seats, new screen but we didn't get any of that and we still drive very old Cobalt and we're all waiting when the new will arrive. Design in the front. It looks horrible and ugly. I know the cheap cars must be fun and blah blah blah, but it's ugly. Look at the headlights. It's so improportional here and just just ugly. And the grille is horrible and it's not aerodynamic. It's like beautiful brick in the front for me. And well, that's it in the front. Really, I have nothing to say about it. It's very ugly. It looks like a brick. The trunk is too huge, it's very improportional, and the headlights are improportional at all. So they try to hide it with these lines here, you see it, but it's too big, it's obvious. And uh, there's no aerodynamic stability at all. There's nothing that can push the air down for the grip for the back wheels, because the car's front wheel drive. And that's, uh, you can feel it when you drive it. Yeah, well, that's it on the back. Brakes here are horrible. And the ABS system that grabs the each wheel is just horrible. It doesn't it's just so stupid, it doesn't work. It works, but it's in own life, like you know, it has like separate thing to do. And uh, it just doesn't that it, it doesn't do the job properly, and that's annoying always. But in the city speed limits and in the city you don't feel it, but you, you can feel it really in uh, some uh, cold situations, a little bit of ice, a little bit of snow, you can feel it. Also rain too and on high speeds, you know, if God forbid something happens, the brakes will kill you, you know, <laughs> just really. You have to depend on yourself, on your skill. Well, that's it. This engine engine. This engine is 1.5 liter, 4 valve per cylinder, 103 brake horsepower and 90, 90 torques I think, yeah. Not much. Very eager engine, you know, it wants to be revved up, uh, very active. In South America you got 1.8 liter. In here in Uzbekistan, Central Asia and CIS countries we didn't have it. Also in South America, six-speed manual. We didn't get it either. We get only six-speed six automatic and uh, five-speed manual. That's it. Engine is very reliable. Not bad. It can run. It can run 100,000 kilometers, 150,000 kilometers without any problems. Just change uh, oil on time, and uh, yeah, really, it's very reliable. Trunk at the back. Trunk here is huge with this huge door. It's just massive. It's echo there, you can hear it. It's actually, I can hear myself talking. And, uh, well, uh, it's massive and very useful, 
but the back seats I can see there's like line that there's a cut line that they should fall down but they don't and I don't know where the plug is if somebody knows please write in the comments for somebody from South Africa or from SCIS countries I'll be glad to know it well that's it all, that's all in the trunk thank you interior here is very very interesting uh, very futuristic cheap plastics after 20,000 kilometers everything starts to rattle everything I don't know what you have in South America please if somebody watching from South America write me down your comments and answer this question we don't have here trunk release button and we don't have in some models a fuel release tank button we have to take the keys out go outside open the trunk and it's very annoying all the time you know it's the back is improportional even here you can see it you can see that it's not proportional and doesn't look nice really like just yeah not bad interior quality materials are not not really good not really good driving of this car well it's 55,000 kilometers it's not much it's already falling to pieces suspension and bushings are made from Lego because they fall they just rattle and fall down piece by piece and you can feel it so transmission is failing on me really bad it's I mean it doesn't slip gears but already the changes are very sloppy so the gears are let's check the manual put it in manual and now I will upshift okay upshift is not bad then downshift Okay, downshift and now downshift go whoa, 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 whoa. all right a little bit slow downshift is slow it's not a little bit it's stupid okay let's put it back into D and not really bad here so uh, driving of this car under 70 kilometers pretty fun it's very light and you can feel the lightness it's really hatchback feel you know because the platform is from hatchbacks you can feel the hatchbacks here but uh, if you drive more than 70 kilometers it's very scary to drive because brakes are bad it's really high and the center of gravity here is just horrible it's, uh, there's weight distribution is really really bad here and not very unstable not safe to drive uh, or else it's really boring too you know, not exciting not exciting after 70 kilometers under 70 it, it's nice city car not bad not bad you know so yeah well that's it on the right on the driving thank you so much for watching my channel my video uh, please subscribe push that like button if you like the video if you didn't don't do anything and uh, thank you please do nice things look at the go to the local orphanage ask what they need buy something maybe some uh, office supplies or uh, anything just be kind and world be kind to you thank you bye bye